Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is just going to be about the cruise that we're taking. I've included some shoes, some accessories, some dresses, some lounge about stuff. Um, and I'm just basically going to go over with you everything that I have, where I got it from, and how much it cost. So, um, basically everything's going to be cheap. It's affordable. It's stuff you're going to want to look into. So, if you're interested, keep watching. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video or not, but I'm actually going on a cruise. Um, we leave, I have literally been walking around thinking that we leave this upcoming Saturday, which um, would be, I don't even know, what day is that? The 24th? And we actually don't leave until Sunday, so. Can you tell I'm ready? Like I'm just inventing times that we're getting on boats that aren't even there. Um, so basically what's happening is it's uh, myself and my fiance, uh, my best friend, hi Crystal, um, her husband Mike, and her parents, her parents' best friend, just a bunch of us are going. Um, we're actually going to Cozumel and Yucatan. Um, and we're, the port is, the port is, the boat is leaving out of New Orleans. That's the port. And none of us have actually been, so we're gonna go kind of explore New Orleans the day before the cruise, and then we'll get on the boat Monday and be cruising. So what this video is gonna be about is basically just stuff that I'm bringing as far as clothes-wise goes. Um, you know, it's the end of September, so it's not exactly peak summer months, so you're not gonna easily find a lot of bathing suits and shorts and cute little summer dresses, um, but that's what the weather is there. So. I am just doing a quick little haul on all the stuff that I have found that I bought and where I found it and how all of it was super cheap. It's a very affordable clothing haul. Um, so let's get started. The first stuff we're going to talk about is um, swimwear. I'm a one piece kind of girl, so there will be no bikinis. There's actually only two bathing suits. I know that sounds kind of crazy um, for a five day, maybe it isn't crazy, but it's a five day cruise. I'm only bringing two. Um, I just don't. Like, we're going to be laying out at the pool and stuff during the day, but I'm not trying to be, like, sexy or anything. I hate bikinis anyways. Um, a lot of these are going to be functionality because both of the ports, we have excursions. So, I'm trying to keep it all, everything contained and in there and comfortable and not look awful. So, the first bathing suit I got is this, um, and it just has the little ruching at the top. It has the ruching down the front, which I love. It's a really pretty coral color. It's got nice thick straps. So I think it'll be really comfortable. And I actually got this at Target. This was $10. I just recently got it too. I love to get bathing suits at the end of the year. Or end of the year. End of the summer. So they're all really, really cheap. Um, so this is $10. I think it was originally $35. And I got it for $10. Oh, and the other bathing suit that I'm bringing is that one, but black. So it's the same thing. The next thing is um, a bathing suit cover-up. This one's this one's from Target. Okay, we'll just stick with the Target theme for just a second. This I'm in super in love with. Um, I think I paid, I don't even know if I can get it all to untangled, I'll show it to you. Um, I, it was originally, oh, it was originally 20 and I paid 20 for it. Okay, so, but still, that's pretty good for a cover-up. It's black and sheer, so I don't know how much of the shade you can actually get, but I love these little like fringe things at the bottom. I don't know if you can see, um, but I just love that. I think it's so cute. So that's on the sleeves and on the bottom, and it's got like a little waist that is, um, you know, just like that stretchy material. But what I love about it that I think just gives it the extra little pop is the back. So the back, I don't know if you can tell, but it's completely open right down to where um, the waist is and it starts right at the top so it's got like a nice opening in the back it's still just kind of like see you can see me through the back it's very sexy for one piece so it kind of gives the element of you know sex appeal i guess to a one piece although i shouldn't say that because i'm telling you one pieces these days are a little hotter than the bikinis this one I got from Academy. Um, for those of you, if you don't live in the Georgia area, Academy is just like a sporting store. It's kind of like a uh, Dick's or Sports Authority, some, somewhere along those lines. Um, this looks massive, and it's not. It has this little thing in the center that pulls it closed. It's kind of got, I like, they're like bat wings to me. That's the sleeve. And it also has that little fringe you can see right there on the end that I'm just thinking is so cute right now. Um, and this is just a plain black one. So it, both of these are going to go with the coral or the black. I, I'm 
a freak about matching so I wanted something that was gonna go with all of them it's nice and thick that one is kind of see-through this one's really not this one's gonna keep you closed I don't even know if you can kind of get like the shape but that's the cover-up very cute it's also got the fringe at the bottom as well as on the sleeves I this was originally 20 and I think I got it for 12 Okay, so moving right around into the activewear, loungewear, stuff I'm going to be throwing on on a day-to-day -day basis that we're not porting or I'm trying to get dressed up for. Is porting a phrase? Is that a thing you do on a cruise? I don't know. When we're stopped at the ports, these are what I'm basically going to be wearing are these little Jimmy shorts. Jimmy shorts? Gym shorts. Um, and these are really cute. I don't know if you can tell. They have like the little zigzags on them, which I thought were so fun. It makes them look a little bit more expensive. That's a thing for gym shorts. But to me it does it's got the white piping right here and around the leg um these were originally 10 bucks i think i got them for five bucks and i got these at academy same place as the last cover up these two pairs of shorts are actually from walmart and it's the same thing it's these nice like teal color with this lime green i love these two colors together um and once it's like the piping goes around and that's like the leg uh, i got these from walmart i think i paid seven dollars I paid $7 for these ones, and then I paid $7 for these ones. So it's the th same thing. It's this bright pink that's, like, blinding you right now. And the gray, excuse me. And I just really, like, they're nice. They're they're lightweight, but I feel like they're going to be they're gonna be good. So I got the black pair, this pair, and the green pair. I already have another pair. I think they are, um, like, a coral and a teal. So I've already got those. And I think four pairs of shorts is enough. Foot gear, for while I'm running around in those, are probably going to be these. I saw these and was just instantly drawn to the colors. Um, it pretty much, I think, oh, right back, pretty much matches everything I have, um, which I was really excited about. These I got at Walmart, guys. Walmart. They're so cute. They, um, I have another pair just like these, so I've already worn them. They're very comfortable. Um, I paid $9 for these sneakers. Now, normally you would say that's a $9 sneaker. Sneaker. I'm just like, blah. blah. Sneaker. Um, so it's probably going to be a $9 sneaker. But they're actually fantastic. The other pair that I have is like a light gray, a coral, and like this color blue. And I've had them for a year. And they feel great. I don't mess around as far as sneakers go. I don't wear uncomfortable ones. So if I'm wearing them and I'm wearing them for a prolonged period of time, you can be assured that they're actually comfortable and you know even if they just went for this cruise they're nine bucks for sneakers i can run around when we port with them um on the boat if i go to the gym everything matches i gotta match so these match to them so the next part is my favorite part and this is going to be all the dresses that we're going to wear at night um we have a formal night and i'm going to confess to you i haven't i don't think i brought down my dress for formal night but I'll post pictures. They'll be on my Instagram, Snapchat, all that. So make sure you follow me. Um, but this is going to just be like a, just one of the nights. It doesn't necessarily have to be formal night, but this is just one of the nights. And it's just a really nice black dress. It's got this kind of top on it. So, it, you know, I don't know what that's called. Halter almost, I guess. But what instantly got my attention was the scalloping. It's all in the details, all in the details. I don't even know, can you see that? Just the scalloping like along the dress, I just thought was so cute. And it's literally just like the part that lays like this. Can you, I don't even know, I need you to see it though. Okay, there you go. Um, and it's just like plain at the bottom. It's just a little black dress. Um, so it's just really cute. It has the zipper down the back and the front mirror, or the back mirror is the front. I just fell in love with this. I think it was originally, 37 I got this at a boutique by my house called dress up they had a sale where all their little black dresses were $25 so I went and scooped this guy up um this next dress I absolutely adore and I actually got it rue 21 I wore this to Zach's Zach is my fiance by the way um I wore this to his high school reunion I think yeah I think it was a high school reunion. I'm just gonna take this hanger off because it's kind of ugly. And I'm not really feeling it. Um, so basically, this is the print. Just so you can see, it's got the nice light pink roses. Please excuse the wrinkles. Some of these literally just came out of the package. I was just so excited and wanted to film this for you guys. But this is an off-the-shoulder dress. 
um, so it just lays like that it's very flowy on the end I liked it too because this is kind of like a thin material but it has the built-in liner which is important because you don't need people seeing things that are underneath your dress or what's not underneath your dress you don't need people saying that either um, so it just lays like that I wore this like I said to Zach's um, reunion and we just got he had wore something that kind of coordinated and we just got so many compliments on it and for uh, Rue 21 it's not expensive I love Rue 21 stuff I'll be doing tons of hauls with their things I think I paid $22 for this dress and it's fantastic I literally cannot get enough of it it's the perfect off the shoulder dress uh, the next dress is actually from Forever 21, and I was instantly drawn to the color. I like these kind of colors against my dark hair, um, and even when I tan, I'm still like a pale tan, if that makes sense. So these kinds of bright colors just, I feel like, kind of offset my skin tone really well. Um, I hate these little things, and they're coming off, these things, coming off as soon as I finish this video, but I needed you to see the actual dress. So it has these little, like layers up at the collar which I thought was really fun it gives a little bit of something extra I don't know if this is technically a keyhole because it's shaped kind of odd but that's in the front um, there's also one in the back but you as you can see it's a little bit longer like that's the front one and that's the back one and it's just you know simple at the bottom um, and it ties around the neck which I love I think that just makes everything just look so cute it, ma it makes me think of um I don't know why I'm about to tell you this, but it makes me think of like a Parisian kind of style with like the little bows around the neck. I think it's just really feminine, really sweet. Um, this dress, and of course, just because I want to tell you the price. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so that was $25, um, and you can't beat that. It's a very open, um, very loose, very nice, very flattering. It clings in all the right places. It doesn't cling in all the right places, which is just as important. This next dress is probably my favorite one out of the entire group, and this is also from Forever 21. I'm very weary of their stuff. Like, that was the Forever 21 Contemporary, I think it's called, where their size is like an actual like half size up, which I kind of enjoy. Um, their stuff is very small, or it runs very small, I should say, or I feel like it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and you have to just be careful with what you buy. I've gone to the store and tried on a bunch of different things and I just know how certain fabrics, certain styles of theirs are going to fit my body so I can kind of shop online because going in the store is so overwhelming. I cannot deal in that store. There's too much. I get too overstimulated. I can't deal with it. So I really like to shop online. And the great thing is um, Forever 21 and Target is the same way. Um, you can return to the store. You're not having to repackage it, ship it out. I think Target, Walmart, Forever 21, and Route 21, I'm obsessed with because I can order it offline. If it doesn't fit, I just pop into the store and return it. Um, and there's always more selections online to me, or it's just at least more organized. It's better visual for me. Anyways, now that we're done talking about my OCD as far as clothing stores go, I got this dress from Forever 21. I'm obsessed with this embroidery. I just can't, there are no words for this embroidery. It's perfect. It's everything. The entire dress is black lace, which I don't know if you can see. These sleeves, though, the see-through black lace, where it's like a little fringe at the end. Oh, I don't know who invents these things, but I love them. Um, it is kind of like a skater dress shape. It goes in a little bit right here and flares out a little bit at the bottom. I just, I can't with this embroidery. I just think it's fantastic. This is a very, very well-made dress. Um, it's, you know, it's got a good weight to it. Not too hot. I mean, it's not going to be too hot on her me or anything, but it's just not cheap feeling, if you know what I mean. And I paid $27.90 for this dress, and it was worth every penny. These sleeves just look so fantastic. I don't even know if you can see. Yeah. They're just so fantastic, so flattering on everybody. It just zips down the back. I cannot wait to wear this. With these, because I'm going to be showing you um, some wedges that I'm wearing with the other ones but with this one and the black dress and my formal dress is actually black as well I just have little black um, pumps that I got from Target they are you know kind of got like the patent leather finish they're just the staple ones that Target always has they have a black pair and a nude pair I think they might do a red pair um, I have the black one so that's just what I'll be wearing with these I'm not a huge shoe person um, so if I can bring just one or two pairs that's what I'm gonna do but um it just so happens that the black pumps go perfect with this one um, and the black dressy one and my formal one because they're all a little bit dressier so you kind of want you don't really want a wedge I have a wedge well now that I say that I'm not sure I have a wedge that would actually go with these 
So I don't know. Stay tuned. To be determined. You'll be able to figure out if you follow me on Instagram. You'll see what shoes I'm wearing. What my foot gear is looking like that night. The next dress. Oh god, okay. This is also from Forever 21. And I just love this mustard color. And it actually is lighter than a mustard. It's probably like a really primary yellow. I love wearing this kind of stuff with gold. I just think it looks so classy. It looks expensive. It's just nice. Um, this is kind of like the other. This is from Forever 21 as well. It's got the same kind of body shape as the teal one. The same halter neck, which I'm loving. I just think is really feminine, really pretty. Um, it's got little tiny, which I don't even know if you can see, little tiny slits in the front there's another one right there so when you actually have it on it just pulls a little bit not a whole lot like you're not really seeing too much but it gives it a kind of a little bit of dimension in the front than it just being the one shape um, but what I love is this little keyhole in the back I love little bits of exposed back I think that's really feminine it's really sexy um, I'm not so much of exposing the front but the back there's just something about it it's just it's the whole less is more kind of thing to me. You just see your back and nothing else. Like I just think it's really nice. Um, so yeah, now that I'm done with that, we're your grant too. What I find sexy. So this is basically I'm going to wear with pumps, just some gold jewelry. Okay, this is the last dress from Forever 21, and I love the print. Um, it's not that open, sorry. It actually ties. It's a wrap dress. I loved the flowy arms all about that the print is what caught my attention um, and the dress it just ties over on the side and I'm obsessed with it but it's a maxi dress which I thought was so cute and you're not gonna be able to see that this which makes me upset but it's got like a high low um, bottom to it and it's like ruffly you can see it's got a little bit of ruffle to it um, but when it's tied it actually looks like that so it's a little low um, which normally I think some people would rock I'm not I can't do it. Um, chest is a little too big, looks a little too vulgar, so I just have like a little um, white undershirt that has a little bit of lace on it that's gonna go underneath it and kind of hide all that. But it's so comfy, it's so nice. Um, I paid $24.90 for this dress. $24.90. That yellow one was $27.90, and this was the $24.90. And I just, if I could go back, I would have gotten it in a large because it is a little bit small in this area. Um, but other than that, I just think it's so cute. There's a little bit of like ruching right here. I just think it's so pretty. Their stuff now is just so detailed. Um, I feel like a couple years ago it really wasn't and they've really stepped up their game and I really appreciate it. I see you, Forever 21, I see you. The last dress is from the same boutique is the first dress which is the dress me up um, and I think at first glance you're kind of say oh okay that's not really anything fancy it's just like the ribbed fitting very loose very open flares it's this pretty pink color that's what kind of caught my eye and I was like oh that's really really cute but then you turn it around and you're like oh hi you're just open back here which is what I like um, so I actually got a little bralette, a little white bralette to wear with this. So you see a little bit of it, it just peeks out across the back. Um, cause this just hits me like right underneath where my bra would go. And I can't not wear a bra with it. So, um, I just got a little bralette to go with it. But as far as shoes go for all of these outfits I've just showed you, the first shoe is actually from Target and it's a little espadrille. Um, it's got, it's woven. It's like, uh, what is this called? burlap no it's not burlap you know what it is um and it's just like a tan color i've actually had these for two years but target sells them every summer um and you can see like this has got a little bit of gold in it i don't know if you can tell but it's gold woven throughout there which i just think is so cute um so these are one of the shoes that are gonna come with me for the more you know for the dresses that it'll match this shoe is a wedge that I actually got from Rue 21. I love Rue 21's shoes. They're very inexpensive um, and they seem to last a while, so they're good for the price. It's a little brown wedge. I love this part because it has, I don't even know if you can see on that side. You can't see it on this side, but it's got a little bit of an elastic right there, so it gives a little bit. It's not, you know, hurting you. And it's just got the little ankle part that goes around that I think is so cute. What I love about this shoe, though, is something I didn't realize when I bought it, which is that it has this little bit of gold, like, hardware detailing 
don't know if you can see it and I am obsessed with it I think it's so cute when you wear it you, it just peeps out a little bit around your toes it's just nice detailing it is all in the details it makes the shoe just look more than what it what it is I think I paid 12 bucks for these you can't beat that Okay, now into kind of random, well, not random, just three more things. They're not really that random. Um, the first thing is a pair of sunglasses that I actually got at Target. I don't know if you can tell. They're kind of like a knockoff of those Ray-Bans that everybody's loving. I think I spent 10 bucks on them. And I'm just obsessed with these. Like I, like I just love them. For 10 bucks like I literally wear them every day and they're so nice they're like that light fit light material um, so they're perfect so if I lose them or they come off in the water I'm not gonna be upset about it um, I don't know if you can tell it's like a little tortoise shell print which I love I love pairing this with my hair um, I think it just looks it just looks really good um, so I'm pretty pretty happy with this purchase um, this next thing is a bag that I got. This is going to be, um, you know, just like a day-to-day -day bag to throw all my stuff in, and it's from Rue 21, and I just love the little fun tribal print that's on it, and this little, like, pom-pom thing, I just thought was so interesting. It just makes the bag look really cute. Makes it look boutique-y, and it's not. I don't know if boutique is a word, but if it's not, then I just invented it. Um, and it was originally 20 I think I got it for 13 or 14 dollars um and it's just nice and big it's just like a tote bag um i can just throw all my stuff in there um you know if we're just wandering around you know i could use it as a beach bag i might use it as a beach bag i don't actually know um but i can just use it you know when we're wandering around on the boat or stuff like that last thing is actually something that's really fun um i got this at walmart actually when we went to denver colorado to visit some friends so hi alani and alex we um needed a backpack like in a bad way because we were going hiking and I was like I can't take my purse where are we putting all this stuff because naturally when you go outside to do outside things you have to bring cameras and cell phones and chargers and lipsticks the essentials nothing that's gonna happen nothing that's gonna happen nothing that's gonna help you if a bear comes along well perfume might have helped but I don't actually know we didn't realize until we got on the trail that we might encounter wildlife, and I realized we had brought nothing to help us encounter said wildlife, so thank God we got out of that. Um, but anyways, we needed a backpack, so I picked up this one because it's so bright and fun, and Zach was just so happy that he got to carry it around half the day and every adventure since then. Um, so you can see it's just got this really fun print on it. Um, I don't even know what kind of print this is, but it has all the colors. It matches all the other stuff this is gonna be our port bag this is and it's already got stuff in it um this is gonna hold like our sunblocks all of the little accessories for my GoPros and my cameras um, just everything that we're gonna need bottles of water you know what have you um, it's got the pocket in the front one on each side it's got the flap that opens and the drawstring um, and it, then the whole inside of it is huge um, the straps are nice and padded and it's just so cute looking like I just thought it looked really expensive it looked to me when I first saw it like something you would see at REI and I was like wow Walmart like stepping up their game so we scooped it and it's been mine ever since and I love it all right guys so that's it that's everything except for my formal one dress I'm sorry like I said follow me just a little thing to get you to come follow me on my other social media platforms you'll see the formal dress um, I cannot wait to go. It's going to be so much fun. So follow me in all the places I've already mentioned 50 million times so you can see our trip and all the cool stuff that we're going to do. And uh, like I said before my last video, this is a new channel. This is new to me. I'm still learning. But if you have stuck through it with me, thank you so much. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm at the point right now where I can pretty much comment back everybody because there's not like a whole lot going on. So I really want to get to meet you guys and know about you and what you guys want. I think I'll do another video when we get back and it'll be the um, one brand tutorial of the Makeup Revolution stuff. I bought some more things and I'm still obsessed. I've yet to let me down. So I'm really going to get into that when we get back. If you have made it this far, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.